Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy. This is a dead spark battery, had no life in it, and that's the blink of death. And when you put it on the charger, you might get two lights, but it still won't charge. I'm hooked up to the EV2300. I'm using Patrick's TRB2300, okay? Things you gotta look for is a permanent failure. Now, a permanent failure means the cells went below three volts. The SS means that the cells are all unbalanced. These two items here, they need to go. You need to see charging here. And also down here, you can toggle the discharge rate and the charge rate if you just go to here. But the pack is sealed right now. And right now, let's look at the numbers. Let's watch these numbers closely. If you notice, the numbers are going, they're going down. They're not going up. They're going down. They're not steady. And even though I got digital power going on, I got 13.5 volts going into it. And what it's doing here is the numbers are going down. Now these cells are pretty close together, but they're still not doing anything. They're just going back and forth. And if I sit here long enough, this battery, if you try to boost a DJI Spark battery, you're gonna blow the battery or you're gonna discharge it to where it can never be repaired again. So, looking at this battery, the voltage ain't really that bad at 20, at 20 it's like 2600 millivolts, which is 2.6 volts. And yes, people will tell you that's bad, but they're not. It's already been tested that they can go as low as 900 millivolts and still get a charge. What you gotta do though, is you gotta unseal this. Let's unseal the pack. Wait for the unseal. You should shut off your enable reading. It'll make the pack. All right, and this is what you need to see. Let me find my mouse. Pack is unsealed. Full access is okay. If you look over here, now we can hit clear PF. We're gonna come down here, we're gonna hit clear PF. All right, we're gonna read the registers again. And now all of a sudden it disappeared. Let's do it again. Sometimes it's a false reading. Permanent failure is gone, but the SS is still there. Let's come over here. The pack's still unsealed. And right here, what are we looking at? Let's put the read back on. Like I said, we're forcing a charge through here. And the voltage is still going down. What happens is it has a protection that if you try to force voltage into the outside of the battery, like we are here, all right, red is positive, black is negative, and then you have the S and C. All right, it's not gonna work. You can pump all the digital power you want, and it's a weird effect, but it actually, what happens is, it just overloads the battery and starts depleting. Now, so, let's go on over to here. I have the BK tools open. What I'm gonna do real quick is reset the chip. Let's reset the chip. If you notice, the pack went back to being sealed. Um, let's check out the voltage. The voltage has now jumped up to 2700. And if you look at it, it's kind of going up now. Now, this is a, these were good batteries. You know, they weren't that bad off. But let's go over here to read registers. And the good thing is now we have discharge running and pre-charge. Pre-charge is running, that means the batteries will start charging. The SS and the PF are gone. Now, this was an easy one. Now, when these get below the 2700, let's say they're 1500 millivolts, the LiPo batteries are still good. They're just too low for the BMS to take over and charge. Right now, if you notice, we're getting a charge. Now, you don't want to run any more than 0.5 or 1 amp on these batteries with digital power. And it does take a special battery charger. There's only one that I know that does it. And it's the C240 Duo. It's the only one that works. And as you can see over here, I got one that's already awake. And that's what's happening with the Spark batteries that go to sleep. Alrighty, this is Cruz Roy. Hope this video helps you out, and I'm out of here.